The loop in this function finds out what time it is, writes a value out to analog port A0, and then gets a value in from analog port A3 by calling this function getA3, which just does an analog read. Now, this value that it gets from A3 should match up with A0 because we've connected them with a wire. Finally, we can print out the time and what value we read back into the variable A. Wait 200 milliseconds and do it all over again. So this is a very simple sketch and it uses the ability of a simple function to return an unsigned value based on whatever goes on inside the function. But suppose we wanted the function to actually place that value inside the variable A so that the function could touch the variable A and change it. Instead of passing by value like this one, we'd have to create a function that received a reference to allow it to actually reach the memory, a pointer that would point to the location where that value for the variable A is actually stored. So let's try another one. This one's not going to return anything, but it will get a value from port A3 using a pointer. And it's going to get a pointer to an unsigned variable. So we need to declare the argument to be an unsigned. And the asterisk means that whatever we get is going to be a pointer to, the, to a variable of type unsigned. So if we read that uh, function declaration there, that says that get a3 pointer is a function that returns nothing, void, and it takes as an argument a pointer to an unsigned variable. We could then say that we wanted to assign whatever uh, uh, value we get back from analog read to that variable a. So a is the pointer, star a is the thing that it points to. And we'll set it equal to analog read a3. So this one's going to be different. It's going to put the value directly into the variable a. So instead of saying up here that uh, a is get a3, I'll uh, I'll I'll comment that out, and I'll have unsigned a equal to zero as my initialization of the variable a. Let's see what happens now. I'm not calling the function yet, so a should be zero every single time, and sure enough, it's zero. Now I'd like to pass a pointer to a over to my function. So I'll call the function get a3 pointer. Notice I'm not assigning its return to anything because it doesn't actually return a value. And I need to pass a pointer to a. So if I had the variable a, I could pass it by value like that, just as I uh, have with other functions. But I want to pass a pointer to it. And the ampersand symbol says pass a pointer to the variable a. And so now if I run that, it should pass a pointer to the function. The function's going to change it. And then we should see a value come back and we'll see a different value in the variable a. So now we see that we get these uh, different values back because we've done the reading and we've had the function place it in the variable. There's not much advantage to this approach if we're just getting a single value. We might as well just return that value directly from the function. But suppose that we had an additional variable that we wanted to fill with something else. So I'll have another unsigned variable called b and set it equal to zero. And if I sent pointers to both a and also to b, to a function called get a3 pointer which took 
unsigned pointers to unsigned values as two arguments. Then the first argument, I'm going to assign an analog read value from A3. The second argument, I'm going to assign an analog read whoops, value from A3 divided by 2, just to differentiate the two. So I should get two values back now, both of which have changed. So let's print out the value B as well. Sure enough, we're getting both values back. And it looks like we have succeeded in getting one that's the full value and one that's half as big. So we've allowed ourselves to pass pointers to two separate variables, and that way we can get two things back from our function. This would be really useful, for example, if you wanted to measure both the mean and the RMS of a variable over time. So that's using pointers. We can accomplish something similar also using arrays.